Hi everyone, this is Mr. Herbst here, and today's focus is going to be on visual nerve pathways of light and images through the eye and brain. Now that's a little bit confusing, but uh, think of it like this. You have stuff that you see, and it has to be handled by your brain. Um, now, it, it, things, get do, things get pretty confusing when you think about where the light goes, but uh, let's say, for example, that you have things in your right visual field. These are things that you see in the right side of your body. They are actually handled by the left side of each corresponding eyeball. Now, why does that happen? Well, because the eye is a convex lens. So here we have the lens of the eye right here that I'm circling in red. Uh, that is a convex lens. A convex lens is thicker in the middle and thinner on the outside. So what does that do to the image? Well, here we have a convex lens. That's L right here. Uh, you may have seen this in physics, but on this side, things are coming into your eye. And on this side, this is where, this is the inside of your eye. So let's say that you're looking at a candle. The candle is right side up. Now when it enters your eye, the convex lens is actually going to invert the image, flip it upside down. So even though you may be looking at it right side up, it's going to be upside down when it's projected on the back of your retina. Now that's a little bit confusing to think about. So here's a diagram of pathways of light through the eye. So in blue is everything that you see on the right side of your body. So go ahead and follow the blue back. It's handled by, it's processed by the left side of each corresponding eye. So it's handled by this region here of each corresponding eye. That happens because of your eye lens inverts the image. Now in your left eye, the blue, which is on the temporal side of your body, tem temporal means temple, is going to travel down the temporal nerve and eventually make its way to the back of the brain. Now on this side here, something a little bit more confusing happens. This here is on the nasal side of your of your body. That means it's close to your nose. So your right eye, the left side of your right eye is closer to your nose. So the image is going to pass down the nasal fiber here, but it's going to have to do something weird. It's going to have to cross over at what's called the optic chiasm. So the nerve is actually going to cross over to the other side of your brain at the optic chiasm. So the left side of your brain is going to handle everything that you see on the right side of your body. However, um, with your with your left eye, it never has to cross over. But it, with, when things are uh, things are processed in your right eye, things do have to cross over. The opposite happens with things that are handled by your left field of vision, right here. Follow the red back, and you follow those those nasal fibers back, and they have to cross over at the optic chiasm. Things in the in your right field of vision are handled by the temporal nerve. Once again they don't have to cross over. So they are going to go ahead and just travel down the temporal ner nerve to the right side of your visual cortex and they're going to be handled by the brain. So let's go ahead and review that comp complicated mumbo jumbo. All images are processed by opposite sides of the eye than what you may think. That happens because the lens of the eye inverts the image that you look at. There are nasal close to the nose and there are temporal fibers which are close to the temple. Nasal fibers, those are the ones that are close to your nose, have to cross over at the optic chiasm, but temporal fibers do not. Here I have another picture. Let's go ahead and investigate this a little bit further. In green, I represent things that are, pro that are, that are coming in from your right field of vision, things that are on the right side of your body. Follow the green back and they are handled by the temporal side of your left eye, and the nasal side of your right eye. So the green will travel down the temporal fibers of your left eye and it won't have to cross over and it will go to the left side of your brain. Now uh, the, the opposite happens in your right eye. Your right eye is going to handle things from your right field of vision but the left side or the nasal side of your right eye is going to be the one processing the image. So things are going to travel down and they're going to have to cross over at the optic chiasm and they are going to then be process processed by 
your left visual cortex. That's the left side of your brain. Now here's where things get a little bit even more confusing. Let's say that you had a tumor that was pressing up against the temporal side of your right side of your body. Let's say they had a tumor pressing up right against here. So it's going to ruin all those, uh, those nerve synapses or those nerve connections on that side of your body. Where are you going to lose the vision in that eye? Well, follow, follow the, the lines back, back to red over here. Where, what handles red? The left side of your body, the, the right side, the temporal side of your right eye handles your left field of vision. So you are going to actually lose vision on your left side in that eye. Confusing? Sort of. Definitely confusing. Just remember that everything is opposite of what you may think. So you're pushing, if you have a tumor pressing up on the right side or the temporal side of your right eye, you're going to actually lose vision on the left side of your body. That it looks a little bit confusing. Now let's go ahead and say that you had a tumor pressing up against your optic chiasm right there in the middle. And believe it or not, that can, act, that can actually happen in some individuals. So, so all the fibers right there at the optic chiasm are going to be ruined by that tumor. Follow the nasal fibers back. So if we follow them back, here we are in the nasal region of our right eye. What, what, proce what does this process? Well, that handles the right field of vision. So things on the outside of our body. Go ahead and follow this back. That handles the left field of vision. So the temporal fibers are unaffected. Those are these regions right here. These guys are still unaffected. However, these are the ones that handle stuff on the inside. So if you have a tumor pressing up against the optic chiasm, you're still going to be able to see, but you're going to have tunnel vision. Stuff that's right in the middle of your body is all you're going to be able to see. Because again, the only fibers that are unaffected are the ones that are on the temporal side of your body. Those handle stuff that's on the opposite side. So you're still going to be able to see stuff, but it's only going to be right here in the middle. You're going to be able to only see tunnel vision. You're going to lose all your peripheral vision. This stuff all will go away if there was a tumor pressing up against the optic chiasm. Anyway, this was Mr. Herbst, and this concludes the visual pathways of light through the eye and brain. I'm signing off, folks. Have a nice day.